Hi everyone, it's Brittany here, and I have a couple little shares. Um, I made a couple cards, so I thought I'd share them, and all of these cards I actually made, um, except for this one here. I'll show you this one first. And this one was using um, one of the Studio G stamps from Michaels, with the bike and then the thing here. So I just made it like a pattern paper and then stamped this out and layered this on here. So that's the first one. And then these two were both inspired by Simon Says Stamps. I watched a bunch of their videos the other night and um, came up with these. So here's the first one. And this, again, was another Studio G stamp. It had the arrows and noted, I think it said, and notes. And then I just put happy birthday. I didn't know what really to put on this one. So that is that one. And then here's this one. And... I just used some distress inks for the background and then I spritzed a little bit of glimmer mist on top, or actually it wasn't glimmer mist, it was the Delusions ink spray. And I just kind of splattered that on there a little bit and stamped happy birthday down here. And then I cut out this little frame, um, when Simon says stamp, when they had done it they had the hexagons, but I didn't have that so I used my Cricut cartridge and cut this out. So I thought that looked pretty cute. So those are the cards that I made. And then I made, um, oh, actually first, before I show what else, um, I wanted to show this, and I got this from Lori, and it's a cute little card kit. Um, so sweet of her, it was just a thank you for participating in her daughter's birthday challenge. And I think her channel, well, her channel used to be Elmanaya, but now it's Lori, just a girl from the Bay. Um, so thank you so much, Lori, that was so sweet of you, um... It really made my day to get a little something special. I wasn't expecting anything, so thank you. And then lastly but not least, um, I made this mini. And first I'll show you what I used. I got, I used these bags. And these are smaller than the ones that I had used on the last one. Um, these are six and three quarter inch tall. And they're three and a half inches wide. So I used these um, to make a smaller one because I had six inch paper that I wanted to use. And I used this paper here. It's Dear Lizzie Fifth and Frolic. And I actually got this from Tina. And her channel is Tina's Cricut Create. And I love this paper. And I just, I didn't want to waste any more of it. I'd used some of it on cards. But I really wanted to kind of display it, I guess. So I wanted to use it for this. So here's the cover. And a lot of the things in this album, actually, I got from Tina. It's so funny. But she gave me these um, doilies just yesterday. So it was a perfect perfect finishing touch for this and then this was a Tim Holtz stamp that I just um, heat embossed on here and um, I used some of the little scrap papers because these ones um, where you tear it off they have the hole so I just kind of cut them up and used them because I want I don't know I just wanted to use all the scraps so um, that's what I did here so that's the front cover and then here's the spine and then here's the back and again, I just put some scraps here. And this mini all together, let's see, it measures um, six and a half inches tall. And it's three and three quarters um, wide. And then the spine is one and three quarters. Or, I'm sorry, almost one and a half. So... Yeah, that's that. And then I just put some Prima flowers throughout here with some flat back pearls. And then I put um, a tie-on for a closure. And I actually haven't cut out the other papers yet for the, um, I sat it down there, but for the little, for the pockets, I, there was a few pages in here to cut out and I haven't done that yet. But um, I still wanted to show it to you guys while I had time. So this is my front page right here. I love this paper. Again, I don't I didn't cover it up very much. Um, I usually don't, but I really love this paper. So here's this one, and it says, Hello, Dream Today. So I thought that was really, really cute. And then you open it, and there's the polka dots. And then over here, I have that one, and I just put another flower up here. And then here's the next page. And I love this paper with the little Polaroids. It's so cute. And then there's that. And again, I also used um, my sister's scrapper, her paper bag tutorial for this. 
And then here's this one. So cute. I love the papers in this. They're just so, so pretty. I don't want to cover them up. And then there's another pink page and some flowers. Here's another one. And this one's a larger flatback pearl. That page. There's a lot of room for photos in here and journaling. Um, that's the one good thing about having like these light colored papers is that you can journal on a lot of it. And of course when I get the little cards put in here, there will be more space for photos. So there's that one. Here's this page. Very summery though. I love the papers, how bright they are. And here's the last page. And then the very back, I put the same paper here. Um, just so cute. I love that paper. And um, like I said, I'll be cutting up the little inserts for the pockets. And um, I'll just be putting, I haven't put in the sliders either yet. But I'll be using just plain coordinating color cardstock to go in there. But I just wanted to show this to you guys before, you know, everything got hectic. So, well, I had a chance. So that is my mini. And I really love the size of that one. Um, you can kind of tell by my hand here that it's a lot minier than a lot of my minis are. But, um, yeah. And then, real quick, I wanted to show you guys this. Um, this is something else I think I had seen on Simon Says Stamp. But I didn't have a whole bunch of, like, punch-outs and stuff, and I do have a Cricut, so I went through my Cricut, and on my wild card cartridge, I found a couple of, like, the background things. Um, so this is one of the ones that I had cut, and I actually thought there was going to be space in here, not just, like, a cut. Um, but I still want to play with it, and so I just put some glimmer mist and some homemade um, shimmer sprays and stuff on here, and I'm not very happy with this one, but I wanted to show it anyways. But this one I really love. Um, it's really glimmery. Um, I used, first I like dipped it in some Distress inks after getting it wet. And then I sprayed it with some Glimmer Mist. And I really love the way it turned out. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because I love that. And I can't wait to use this on a card. I just need to figure out what card to use it on. Um, yeah, so... Thank you all for watching. Those are my quick little shares, and hopefully I'll get some more stuff done and I can show you guys what I've been working on. Thanks for watching.